Some people are moved by sunsets, the Grand Canyon, a child's birth, weddings. For my mom and me, it's marching bands. <laughs> True, there's nothing like some drums and horns marching in their feathered sequin glory to get us simultaneously laughing and weeping. But in all seriousness, what is it about this medium that so easily tugs at our emotional core? It's the magical togetherness. It's a group of people moving in sync in a spirited outcry of public expression. As an artist and designer, I'm not interested in expressing my individual internal battles. I'm interested in extracting a collective voice. In my practice, I look beyond just making cool-looking posters and websites to designing new ways to bring people together. The value of human connection, also known as social capital, is what moves me to create. I organize a community bike ride to encourage voter participation in Providence, Rhode Island. By traveling a route designed to spell out our message, <laughs> We engage in a form of collaborative communication. Hands up has become a symbol of the Black Lives Matter movement. My South Bronx students and I designed protest signs that allowed individual statements to be part of a collective demand for justice and change. I was inspired by the Kula tradition of the Millen Bay region of Papua New Guinea, where social solidarity is created through the circulation of gifts amongst islands via canoe. I wanted to do something similar in the United States, so I somehow convinced my friend Melissa that we would carry gifts of art across the country. But instead of canoes, we would use one of these. We made it around the block and obviously chose regular bikes instead. <laughs> Our project, The Gift Cycle, united 12 plus communities across the United States. We started in Providence, Rhode Island, where we picked up works of art from local artists. We then biked the art to Brooklyn, exchanging it for new work. The art exchanges continued across the country, all the way to Seattle. At each community event, artists gave a piece of art and received a piece of art. No money involved, just gifts. A single artist tap, became a community beat, became a nationwide pulse. A network of 200 artists participated. Like a marching band on the move, a narrative of togetherness emerged. Through the gift cycle, people shared a piece of themselves with someone they had never met. The theme of gifting also revealed itself through unexpected acts of generosity by people we met along our journey. For example, Byron Seeley is a ceramic artist working out of an abandoned gas station in a desolate Wyoming boomtown. He offered us shelter and contributed a beautiful piece of pottery, which became a story of a forgotten place. After biking into 30 mile an hour headwinds, we arrived in Tampa, Kansas. <laughs> Mayor Jim Clemmer and 15 locals treated us to a huge meal. Though not an artist himself, Mayor Jim ripped a favorite piece of art off his wall and said, another artist had to have the flavor of Kansas. The world lost Mayor Jim the next year, but his Kansas still lives on. A message gains value when it is physically transported rather than instantly received via text or email. We were two women riding 75 miles each day for two and a half months to bring art from one community to another across the United States. One artist that contributed to the gift cycle said, it was the altruistic sweat that made it so meaningful. Altruistic sweat, perhaps, or maybe expending creative energy together just feels really good. I build social capital with communication design. I'm a maker of objects and experiences to enhance our sense of interconnectedness. Communication design was born to sell products. And designing for large corporations can help a creative person pay her bills. But I want to bring people together around more than bubbly corn syrup drinks. Let's expand the purpose of communication design to benefit our communities and relationships in new and unexpected ways. Thank you.